Heyo guys, it's ES here, and wow, have I really not uploaded a video in... Damn, uh, it's been, been quite a while, hasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it was just called having no real motivation for making YouTube content. The last thing I really uploaded was um a little fan-made trailer for, funnily enough, the mod that I'm going to be playing today. Welcome to Not-So-Secret Saturday. Now, now, if you don't know what Not-So-Secret Saturday is, uh, it's basically just a mod for Minecraft Alpha 1.1.2 underscore 01, where it basically explores an alternate development path. Such as, as you know... What if Notch never added biomes or the nether and went on with the, the direction that Minecraft was going back in those days of neon green grass? Oh, what glorious neon green grass it is. As now, oh, just want to take a look at the credits page here, because this is all the people who've worked on the mod. Dirt Piper, the lead developer, pretty cool guy. Hey. I'm actually on the uh, NSSS Discord, and, and we have some good discussions about Minecraft game design and whatnot. Uh, there's also a few other people here. Here, I believe Gyration also has a NSSS Let's Play or two that has not seen an update in quite a while. Oh, rest in peace. Yes. But uh, yeah, I'm going to jump on the bandwagon of NSSS Let's Plays now, because I am nothing if an unoriginal basic bitch. But anyway, uh, as you'll see here, I do have an existing world. Well, th this is the first world I created with the Maw, and, and I played on it for months, but I think I just got burned out and did all the things I wanted to do, really. Also, I'd been getting those classic... That's like Minecraft Alpha glitches and crashes, like, you know, uh, teleporting through blocks, or having the game and crash and delete a bunch of progress I had made on building something, but I had actually used up all these resources is because Minecraft logic. Anyway, we're just going to go create a new world here. There, and there's a bunch of variously new things you can do. Well, first of all, you can see that we've got a lot more world slot as to choose from. And then the vanilla alpha 5. The world creation screen and is a lot more detail. Well, you actually get to name your world and such. It does say, like, choose a mode. I'm assuming that creative mode will be a button that you can toggle because you can turn on commands here and it will give you like commands you can set your game mode to creative which functions very similarly to how minecraft classic like did in fact it uses virtually all of the code from minecraft classic because that is all still in the game it's just unused so you know that's fine you can also decide if you want it to be a winter world or not choose your world type and normal is regular old alpha 1.1 and terrain floating is like floating islands think the sky dimension and uh, corruption is basically like oh it's exactly what it sounds like it's basically a world with all these corrupted chunk errors and such desert generates a completely sandy world with sparse trees and dirt heard in it sounds a lot more of a challenging survival experience and and then a 2d pearl and it generates like similarly to how a classic and inde have did their terrain generation before the infde have update changed the terrain generator but uh yeah uh, let's uh, give ourselves a, a nice world now. Let's call this like ES's. This is this is NSSS world. Or eh, let's just go with like ES's world because we're already in NSSS. NSSS uses its own save directory so that you're not going to be 
accidentally loading your saves in regular Minecraft, which is pretty nice. Anyway, let's load up a new world here and see what we get. Wow. Hmm. That is a... Wow, that is a beautiful spawn. I just... And I just pop right in, and I have a face full of stone. Beautiful. And wow, that is a lot of cows. I don't tend to see that many ever spawn at once. Like, I think that's like 12 cows, I want to say. Dang. That's pretty impressive. But, uh, first thing you'll know is in NSSS is that there's ambient and noise is in the background. And now, do I have... I do have all the sound stuff turned on. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I did. Because I would already forget, even though I was literally on the office menu like five minutes ago. So, but, uh, yeah, you get a little ambient noise, like birds chirping. Uh, if you're near water, you'll hear water splashing against the shore, if you're underground, you're here like, cave chimes and such. It's pretty cool. Oh, one of the good things I like about NSSS is all of the little things in it. That's, I just, a little spice is up the game. And we're just gonna get right into the thick of things and start getting our your base of operations set up because as you know how it goes as in old Minecraft. We also have shift clicking if you didn't see there. There because it's such a convenience and deserves to be a thing. And I think what we're gonna do because well, this is this this block right here is literally the spawn point. I, I I can't think of a better spot to start making like the initial first night shelter. Better than that. You know, just whenever we die, we just uh, respawn right outside the front door, which is only really an inconvenience if there's mobs right outside the front door. But, you know, hopefully, no. we won't have any problems. No. You know, get myself a good amount of cobblestone here. No. Okay, so we can start actually getting things set up. No. And probably murder all of those cows. Because I can already tell you that, that that mooing is going to drive me insane. That's right, cows. As, as your life if expectancy is about to drastically be shortened. For I have now built a sword. And you are all going to become Mouse must be caught under something. It feels a little hard to move. Move uh, There we go. Always fun when that happens. I keep jumping because I'm so used to like modern Minecraft. I've been playing on server some friends lately. I mean, I always just like jump attack, kill things faster. <laughs> Sweet, sweet silence. Oh, wait. You think you're going to be spared? No. Get over here. I want no none of your noise. Absolutely none of it. You'll all die. Ah. <sighs> well, there's more cows over there. And I still want to leave more leather. It'd be really great if we got, like, a good set of leather armor on the first night. Looks like we'll have at least enough for half a set. Yeah, that looks 
like it's about as much as we're gonna get. Uh. Yeah, I just, I really enjoy old alpha Minecraft because I think it just has a charm to it that, that like, you know, even like beta, I don't really think had oh, and as much charm as alpha did, like the pre-biomes version, I mean, the neon green graph. This is a very, very iconic look. Okay, the neon green grass block used to be the icon for the launcher up until they decided, oh yeah, we need to change that. So they did. Rest in peace. This neon green grass block. We will remember you fondly. And by remember you fondly, I mean... And we will go, go back to old versions. Now NSS has does some pretty cool things with, with how the difficulty the options are handled. Because in vanilla, difficulty is just kind of like really eh. Like, like all it really is is how much damage you are going to take take from mobs, which is kind of pointless. And then there's peaceful mode, which is just no monster spawn, and you regenerate health. Which, I guess for some people, people that's a pretty fun way to play the game. Um, but, you know, I don't like it. <laughs> I like... Like actually having having to be you know fighting off the dangers of the night and such. Oh, hold on. Ah, <sighs> one moment. And I'm back. Heck, sorry. You know how it is. Sometimes you're just in the middle of something, and then you're just like, "Oop, gotta go." Go do my business. Anyway, let's uh, get ourselves oh, basic set up door. Yep, there we go. Get ourselves chest. Let's so actually mine this out a little bit more. Here, so I can have a double chest. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. Hey, what an inopportune time for that. Put the feathers in there. Uh, that in there. That in there for now. And let's make ourselves a little bit of leather armor. Like, chest plate and boots. That'll do. All right. Forgot about that old alpha quirk. You can hit things through the door. There's it's cannon, cannon, according to Dirt Piper. Because yes, NSSS has lore. I mean, you know, as much lore as this neon green block game can have. But you know. Speaking of. Uh, did you know that animals canonically don't feel pla pain, but plants do? I, 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 I really, I really done goof that one. And but yes, Dirt Piper, Piper, Piper has been quoted to say that animals do not feel pain, but plants do. So the amount, amount of times you cut down a tree, you are giving that tree absolute agony. Do you feel? any sorrow for what you have done because I don't like sorry tree it's you or me carve that down a little bit 
vent. Myself a little bit of dirt. But then what I'll do with all the dirt, but you know. Ah, uh, and there comes the peaceful music. Right in as the sun starts setting. Isn't that... I think they actually use this music on the main menu screen in modern Minecraft now. Ah, uh, I'm actually going to have to turn that a little bit down. I think it's probably going to drown on my voice out a bit. It's turned down to like 70. There we go. Now I can hear myself think. Now that the night is coming, then let us let us get into our, our little shelter and cook these pork chops. Let's probably like put up a light or two outside. Just a little easier to get in and out. Kind of my little shelter. Probably won't be anywhere we stay the entire way through. Okay, but you know, gotta have a little safe hidey hole to run and cry in. God, all these sheep just out here are making me a little anxious. I have to find a tree there, I guess. And one out here, it's like... Place up a few little... Little things, have a little bit of light. Yeah. Make it feel a little more safe. Because after all, I'd rather be safe than sorry in old Minecraft. Sure to get all those guys out there. Oh, oh, oh! You have definitely spotted me, sir. I do not want to go on Mr. Bones' wild ride. Well, <coughs> hmm, <coughs> uh, harder than me. I suppose, at least since there's not much else else to be doing. Thing. Um, yeah, I'll probably just wait until the morning comes because, as well, I believe that guy is right outside the door, isn't he? Oh, oh, yeah. I definitely don't want to, not want to deal with that. So, um, yeah. Uh, how about I get back to you guys? Here's what, and the suck and hat has cleansed the impurities of this land. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> and we're back. Um, I may have had a little bit of an accident because I was trying to expand in this direction, and there just so happened to be a creeper right where I was digging. But, um, at least it's daytime now. So, um, that is good at least. Jeez. What a mess. Ah, I was 
thinking I was going to be like... And I have a little thing to go up here. And that creeper just decided he was going to go and make my wall all completely irrelevant. Is it just me or is the tech are the textures of bones different in this version? It might be because as they got changed in like modern Minecraft, I'm just so used to that. But um I was kinda of thinking of having like a little back entrance or something. And then that creeper just kind of decided to rudely blow up the side of my little hole here. How awful of him. How awful of him. I mean, it's not perfect, but, um, it'll do. So I suppose with the, um, destroyed... I was thinking maybe having a window, but I don't know. I don't know. Like dig up the sand here. There's a very convenient source of it. Get ourselves a few blocks for having glass. Speaking of, of, I do feel a window. Window is a top priority. So let's, yeah, let's get like, let's get like four pieces of glass cooking. Like a window, maybe. I need to make a new shovel. Silly me. Like a window, let's say, right about here. While we're at it, I would like to move. Some of these, just a little bit. It's just like, do that. Give ourselves two entry points Once to the base here. Uh, let's finish one thing. Yeah. Another window, like, right there. Oh, I hear a cow dying. I forgot they have 
that stares at the full black hitbox in this version. Where are you, Mr. Cow? No. The sun's already starting to go down again. Let's kill some more cakes. Get more Probably get a bit more wood too. Cool. Maybe I'm just used to modern hitbox. Because my square is a little. A little bit of jank. A little bit of jank. Because I'm used to modern because I've been playing the modern Minecraft. No. Lately. Nice. Uh, a few more pieces of leather. Uh, still got a little bit of daylight left. I'm gonna try and get a bit more wood. Maybe some coal if I can find some. Although we can make, we can technically make charcoal, well in NSSS, because, as you know, that's just a little bit of convenience. Cool overhang there. Love the ambient. But it's, it just makes the world feel a little bit more alive. Like even though oh, there's no actual bird and such, it just feels a little more alive. I mean, there's chickens, I guess. Those are considered birds. But like you know, like. I mean, modern Minecraft is a parrot. There's another thing. There's a whole bunch of different species of bird. It's, I don't consider myself a bird expert. Where I know, like, parrots, crows, uh, chickens. That's probably about it. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Might be a nice little, a cool little spot for having a bait. Nice little tucked into this sort of cave here with a little overhang. Then, might be something to consider. We we'll have to be uh, a little bit of exploring to do. You know, once we're a little more prepared. It's like, yeah, that's, uh, that's some nice stuff. Oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, now that! That looks like a dope, dope ass mountain. That looks like a dope ass mountain right there. Ooh! Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out. I like options. 
for where we want to build our base. But the sun is unfortunately setting, so it is time we should start heading back. Now, if you've watched my uh, NSSS fan-made trailer, you'll notice that uh, sprinting is among one of the features added. And it's true, you can sprint, except in hard mode, which I decided, you know what, I want to try playing on hard mode. Go for a change. Because hard mode does a lot of new stuff, like, for example, spiders can climb walls, because uh, monsters have better their AI in general. Ooh. So maybe this wasn't the greatest, it's the time to be caught out. I mean, you do have a good amount of food. So let's just try getting back, back to our shelter before we run into problems. At least so far we haven't been taking damage yet, but that one creeper was a real close call. Oh, right, we also have, like, our back door that is completely exposed. Um, yeah, let me just quickly make up a couple new doors that we can put there. I guess doors stack like an NSSS because dirt pipe are for is good like that. Because, gah. Yeah, there's just some modern convenience that is like that, which is just like, how could you live without this? Uh, let's, put, let's put our last block of glass there, I guess. Just to get a little more for, uh, viewing room for what monsters we can see out there. Uh, I think I do think the area like directly outside is probably safe because I've lit it up decently. It's just that, you know, I'm on hard mode, so I'm gonna take a lot of damage. I wanna see how high my score can get before I ac actually die. That would be a nice little challenge. So let's, uh... Can I use saplings as fuel? No. Uh, I'm gonna have to make some planks and burn a few of these logs for coal. We're just gonna move this chest here. And we do have a lot of food. I have to be cooking some of that pork with the coal I've got. Let's make another furnace, actually, I guess we can do that. Well, that was just particularly interesting. Probably not. That's... Yeah, I mean, it's not a whole lot of danger, but it's the first couple of nights. So it's not going to be too terribly interesting until... Well, well then... Although, you know, I think... I think this is probably a good spot to end the video here as the music starts playing. Thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um... I, I took a little bit of damage, I guess, because my armor's damaged, but whatever. Uh, anyway, yeah, i say this is a good spot to end the video. So, um, I hope if y'all enjoy me, I think I'll try and upload put a new episode every Saturday or so. Have that be a little gimmick because the mod's name is Not So Secret Saturday. It'll be funny. Is that original? Maybe, maybe not. 
I can't remember if someone else did that gimmick already. But uh, anyway, yeah. Yeah, uh, leave your feedback in the comments. Let me know what sort of stuff you want me to do. You know, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I know there's a lot of cool stuff to find. And, and I do want to move out of this little hole in the ground and make, like, a better hole in the ground. Because I am a dwarf and I like underground bases, sue me. But, uh, yeah, uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.